Good morning. It's the 27th of April 2023 and I'm going to do the traditional uh, US markets and sectors run through. S&P 500 price falling, momentum falling. I added the futures here for ES and NASDAQ, so S&P 500 and NASDAQ. Uh, the futures this morning higher, not looking very bullish anyway. NASDAQ green yesterday, even though the candle was red, so it gapped up and then tried to go higher fell momentum starting to be in the negative territory let's see if my if my butterfly will work big time or if i just need to take it off soonish to keep the profits that i've got now nasdaq futures nicely higher in the morning giving could be giving a reversal signal here momentum hasn't yet turned bullish but nasdaq doesn't look weak which is pretty much what I've been saying the past, I don't know how many days. Dow Jones, and I didn't add the futures here. Price falling, momentum falling. IWM, pretty beautiful looking short chart there, even though the current momentum indicator is showing a chop warning. IWO, which is the Russell 2000 growth index, falling, chop warning, price as well falling. There is some support coming here, but if it would fall to the support, it would still be a $5 move. So I think that's tradable. Uh, volatility is down this morning, but there has been the kind of bottom has been starting to head higher. Um, who knows? Maybe we get this kind of volatility peak that we got here and here. And when the volatility goes up, the prices in the market tend to go down. Bitcoin printing nice green color. There was something crazy on the markets yesterday. I have no idea what it is. I'm not really following Bitcoin other than just like showing you the charts. Ethereum, similar kind of like big thing there. I haven't read this piece of news. Maybe I will do that after shooting this video because this looks interesting. Uh, XLE. So going to the sectors now, energy sector. Price falling, moment and falling. My short strangle looks pretty safe still. Has been working fantastic. Financial sector, moment falling, price falling. Looks pretty bearish. XLB, I'm in the short. By the way, the signal here, momentum turn here. So that was the point to short, which is where I shorted. XLK looks bullish maybe even more bullish than Nasdaq. I'm not sure, I don't remember exactly, but price hasn't been falling much, even though the bear wave has been going pretty far already. Like here, price didn't fall super much. The momentum then turned and, well, there was kind of a... So it didn't work perfectly since the beginning, but worked pretty fine anyway. So I'm actually watching XLK for a bullish idea and hence the green color. XLU so utilities big red candle yesterday momentum heading lower industrials red on both fronts healthcare red on both fronts going to the uh, moving averages area and by the way these are 200 period moving averages for uh, daily four hours three hours two hours one hour and 30 minutes time frame so multi time frame analysis for the 200 period moving average and simple moving average i'm not watching the exponentials this is the setting allows you to do the, do that as well but i'm not doing that uh x and y uh pretty weak bearish wave for now hence green color i'm watching for the next bull turn unless unless the support totally breaks and then i'm maybe not watching it for that bull move so much XRP, uh, bearish. The price actually still trending strongly higher, but if it now keeps falling, then this is not, and by the way, this is no longer a bearish. I don't know, I don't know why that is not loading now. Maybe take that away. Oh yeah, I put it there yesterday for the reason of sh see seeing this not sure about the name, could be shooting star, could be something else, but pretty bearish looking candle, tried to go higher than failed, uh, created a top. So this kind of confirmed the pattern. And now if somebody believes in those candlesticks, 
this could probably be a fine area to go short put the stop somewhere here at, I don't know whatever <laughs> from how I present this you probably see that I am not a huge believer in these things reason I don't have data to prove them the day I have data that proves that these work then I will be a believer in them and I will be trading them that's how I work if I haven't proven something I'm not gonna trade that something uh, XLRE real estate uh, doo -doo -doo. the time to go short was here short trigger moment in the turn price has been heading lower since I didn't do it maybe you've done it when you've been watching these videos and maybe taking some ideas communication sector mm, heading lower and lower here biotechnology mm, bearish and bearish pretty uh, recent turn here would have been here or here would have been the uh, kind of perfect moment to go short I didn't do it XRT um, green day yesterday pretty weak green day chop warning oversold warning I wouldn't short it right here um, because that's not the way I trade home builders I shorted this yesterday because there was a reversal trigger that went at the same time with the bearish turn warning color and then when it so that was uh, today's Thursday so that was Tuesday's candle confirmed with a trigger and a warning color for bear turn yesterday morning as the price opened it started heading higher and still the color was bearish so I figured out that hey price is moving higher there's a bear trigger from yesterday I'm gonna short this and then it fell worked pretty fine at least yesterday no guarantees that it will keep working but statistics say that most of the time it probably would do that semiconductors I'm watching this for the next bull turn because the bear wave is so far that I'm thinking that this could start reversing soonish and start leading the technology markets higher uh, the bear bear turn happened earlier and has been advancing further than the than, than the rest so semiconductors have been leading the tech markets uh, on the downturn side and I'm thinking that this could also be a leading indicator for the technology on the other fronts I mean to the next direction oil producers falling here I believe it's falling also here there's an oversold warning now this doesn't want to come up well then it doesn't I'll go back to it next clean energy I've been calling this short a couple of days here trigger confirmed bear turn great time to go short if somebody had done this I did not they would have been a pretty nice move over four person just yesterday and let's see if we get the momentum on the oil producers now or no we don't well it turned somewhere here I remember from the previous days and of course now it's still heading lower I don't think it's yet below zero I'm gonna try this if I go to eight hours which is pretty much the same yeah okay eight hours and daily on ETFs is pretty much the same chart now if I go back to daily will it load it no it doesn't wanna okay well momentum falling there it is fantastic so if you like how this looks if you'd like to try these indicators yourself head over to reversalcatcher.com forward slash trial one dollar for 10 days and pretty affordable subscription also after that if you want to keep using them whether you try them or not have a great day make a lot of money and i'll be seeing you tomorrow Bye.